Welcome to Bookmas Day 6, where I'm going to be giving you reindeer recommendations. Look at how happy they are! So basically the concept for this video is that I googled what the different reindeer names mean and like what their personality traits are, and I'm recommending a book to you based on that. Some of these are a little bit of a stretch, but some of them were pretty easy, so let's just get into it. Reindeer number one is of course Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. The ever famous reindeer. There were a couple of ways I could have gone with this one. So I was going to go like a character that steals the show, but I decided to go with the underdog. So for this one, I decided to go with War Cross by Marie Lu because Amika Chen in here, I'm probably saying that very wrong. I'm sorry, but she is definitely a little bit of an underdog because all of the odds are stacked against her. It's not really her capabilities that make her an underdog. It's just her circumstances, I feel like. But like most underdogs, I feel like you can't help but root for her and you just want her to come out on top and be the winner of it all. Reindeer number two is Dasher, a book that you read very quickly. So I went with Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell because I read this book super quickly. I distinctly remember the day that I read this book, I read three books in one day and it was like a Sunday. I feel like it was November 24th or something like that, like two or three years ago. I don't know why I remember it being the 24th, but it was definitely in November and I just sat there and I read for the entire day. And this is one of the books that I absolutely just flew through. It went by so quickly and I really, really, really loved it a lot. So if you're looking for a quick read, I definitely recommend this one. There's a few other books I could have gone with, but like this one even has tiny fonts. So I'm just like shocked still at how quickly I read it, but it was awesome. Honestly, all of Rainbow Rowell's books kind of have this quality to them where you can't help but fly through them. But this one in particular was just like, boom, done. Reindeer number three is Dancer, an artistically inspiring book. For this one, I went with Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia because it features art in here and it's it's all because the main character is a comic book artist and she has this whole comic on like kind of a Wattpad sort of thing online that is crazy famous, but no one knows that she is actually the writer and illustrator. But her art, whether it's writing or drawing, is a huge part of her life and who she is as a person and plays a key role in her kind of overcoming her own anxieties socially and learning to accept herself and kind of break out of her shell. I feel like her art is the main mode of expression that she has to be who she truly is and this book is really about her learning to find other ways to express herself. But it is an awesome book and like I said the art in here is beautiful. I will say though I wish that there was kind of more because sometimes it felt like why is this in here? There's not a lot of it but I did like the fact that it was included. I would have wished that there was a teeny bit more but hopefully we will actually get Monstrous Sea as a novel. That would be very cool. Number four is Prancer, a lighthearted book and there are so many books I could have gone with for this and I wanted to kind of switch it up and do one that I haven't talked about in a while but I kind of had trouble with that so I just went with Geekerella by Ashley Poston which I feel like I don't talk about that much so I feel like it's still a good pick but this is a modern day retelling of Cinderella where the Cinderella character she is obsessed with this whole sci-fi thing and I think it's a movie but this really famous celebrity ends up being cast as the main character and she's really unhappy about it but he ends up being the prince charming and everything and it's that's not really a spoiler but it's a super cute light-hearted Cinderella retelling that has all the elements of the Cinderella story in it, which is awesome. Number five is Vixen, a trickster character. And I kind of had trouble with this one because I feel like there's so many, but I couldn't really think of any good ones except for the characters from A Language of Thorns by Leigh Bardugo, which really I feel like is just going to have trickster characters because it's fairy tales and fairy tales have tricksters in them. However, I did also think of Shadow and Bone by Leigh Bardugo because I feel like one of the characters in there is a little bit of a trickster. But in here, particularly the tale about the fox, I think I forget what it's called. The Too Clever Fox. The Fox is a major trickster and a fox really is just such a trickster figure, like kind of archetypally in any story. I don't think archetypally is a word, but now it is. But that was one of my favorite stories in here and it featured more than one trickster, which was very cool. Reindeer number six is Comet, a book that is out of this world. So I just decided to go for a sci-fi for this, which was actually kind of hard because I'm not a huge fan of sci-fi, but I went with Across the Universe by Beth Revis. This is definitely a book that I don't talk about a lot and that's because 
because I have really mixed feelings on it. On the one hand, I did really enjoy it, but on the other, I thought it was just okay in the end. But this cover is honestly just out of this world. Like, this cover is absolutely beautiful. But since this book takes place entirely on a different planet, I felt like it was perfect for Comet. Reindeer number seven is Cupid, a couple that you really want to be together. So for this one, I went with Nikolai and Nina from Six of Crows and just the Grisha universe in general. I have talked about wanting these two to get together for a very long time and I still am entirely on board for it but now that we're getting a Nikolai book I feel like there is hope but I will keep on screaming to the high heavens until it actually happens because it is just perfect and I am in love with that pairing. Number eight is Donner, a book that you constantly shout about. This was one of the ones that was really hard to find a clue for but Donner in German is thunder or at least it's similar to the word for thunder so that's how I came up with this. But there were many options for this question because I have a tendency to when I really like something just never shut up about it. But I decided to go with Alice in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll because I mean that's like the ultimate thing that I never shut up about. And if you haven't read it, you should. It's really good. That ride. And the final reindeer is number nine, Blitzen. This is another one that was really hard to come up with a clue for, but I decided to go with a powerful book. Once again, many options for this, but I decided to go with The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas because I feel like this is a book that has had such an impact recently. And it's definitely one of the most powerful books that I've read in my life. And I think it's a very important story and it has the power to change things. So that is all for my reindeer recommendations. As if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe I put out new videos every Monday and Thursday, but right now it is bookmas, so I am putting up a video every single day. You can also follow me on my social media. I have Twitter. My Twitter is at Hales in Bookland, and I also have Instagram, and my Instagram is at Haley in Bookland, and I will be posting bookmas stuff there as well. But all that information is down below for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you tomorrow for Bookmas Day 7. Bye! Just see those